Masondo has written a series of exposés of corruption in the Department of Water Affairs. The award ceremony was held at a gala dinner hosted by the South African National Editors Forum, SANEF, in Durban. The award aims to recognize journalists who show exceptional integrity and courage in their work. These are journalists who refuse to be silenced. This year's recipient is known for refusing a 3.5 million rand bribe and a 900,000 rand job offer to remain mum on corrupt activities. The investigative journalist says he will remain loyal to his profession. Being an investigative journalist is not, it's not an easy thing. I mean, um, you get death threats, you get offered bribes. I mean, I get offered bribes almost every month. I mean, um, and I'm, I've, I've gotten used to, to meeting people and um, getting offers of bribes, but um, yeah, it's just uh, I want to be I want to be I want to be true to the profession. So I'm not going to take bribes, and then I just keep doing my work. And there is also growing concern that over fake news. We have seen in other parts of the world where fake news peddlers have tried to influence voters towards elections, and that's why we are saying it's not only an attack on the integrity and credibility of journalism, but it is an attack on our democracy. The event was used to honor veteran journalists and current deputy chair of the SAPC's interim board, Prof. Matata Tzedu. The profession, as Matata was saying, uh, is under siege, not only from your kind of normal uh, enemies, state, and, and maybe even communities and stuff like that, but subversion even from inside, where institutions like ANN7 and those kinds of things are specifically manufactured to discredit journalism. The Stephen Rotesley Award went to media personality Paula Frey for her extraordinary commitments to work towards the achievements of the goals of SANEF. Nungi Sukumalom. SAPC News, Durban.